So since you guys have been asking for more free stuff in Unity, I decided I'm gonna make one more video where I cover five more free assets in Unity 2018 that you should definitely check out. Now, as you might have already realized, I don't have a face cam for this video and that's because I kind of wasn't feeling it. I don't know. I kind of feel weird about the face cam. I like it. I like including my face, but it's like, eh. I don't really feel like doing it every video. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think though. But now with that being said, let's jump right into the video and check out these assets. So I've been trying to record this video a few times now, but I failed like five different times now. I don't even know, like even the intro, I was getting cut. And then I realized I have a sore mouth. Like usual, it's not, a, it's not even a surprise anymore whenever my body hurts or I get a sore mouth or whatever it is. It's just like, oh, Sam is just hurting again. <laughs> That's so, that happens all the time. Like I'll just say this, females have their periods, I have my periods, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting weird. All right, but I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Unlike me, my my mouth is just killing me. And I'm trying to speak here to make a clear, understandable video, but I'm definitely failing with that. <laughs> but before we begin with the actual video where we're going to be talking about the assets, I just want to give a huge shout out to all our patrons, including Cupola, G.I. Jojo, Logan Barkley, Matt Clafoot, Tron Beer, MCP, and especially Richard Stans for being the first max tier supporter. This is just amazing. Thank you guys so much. It's so appreciated what you guys do for me. If you also want to have a spot in this list, claim rest of the rewards from the supporting tiers and become a supporter of the channel, make sure to check out the link in the description for Patreon. But now with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first and foremost, we have an asset called Dragon the Terrorbringer PBR. And this one is actually pretty sick. So this one is made by Dungeon Mason. And here we basically have a 3D dragon model with 18 different animations fully compatible with the mechanism and legacy animation system in unity and it also comes with a demo scene this pack also includes a pbr shader with four different color textures and emission maps and the resolution size is 2048 by 2048 the original files from maya 2016 and also substance painter can also be found within the package in case you would like to edit the model or so it is also optimized for mobile games there is just a single mesh and one simple material which is just perfect oh and also the developers say that you can literally fire away your questions in their email get it i mean like you know the, the fire by the drag and don't forget that all the links are in the description so if you want to check out this asset or any other asset that we cover up in this video make sure to drop down there but now for our second asset for this video we have something called modern weapons pack by seven oh my god here comes another name that saiku can't really pronounce seven XF design. Nailed it. So this one is not that new and I know that a lot of people are already aware of these models but I still decided to include it for our new friends and just to honor it for all the times I use it myself. But basically with this asset pack you get an M4A1, an AK-47, an UMP-45, Scorpion VZ, an ACOG scope as an accessory which is just like a bonus and also a smoke grenade. The models come in FBX and OBG file types and both versions come with diffuse, normal and specular maps. These weapons are also greatly optimized by the way, so you might be able to use them in a mobile game considering the development of all the hardware recently with mobile phones. Like I said before, I've used these models through my years and it feels like they just never get old. Maybe it's because, you know, I have a bias for them personally, but of course the quality might not be top notch in 2018, but you can either use them for inspiration or edit them or your game to fit the style so that they all work together. Now at number three of our list, we have an asset pack called Sample Racer Environment Pack by Flaming Sands. And this is actually a pretty cool asset pack you can use for your racing games. So you get a full game environment with six different levels, a garage to show your cars, a fully working menu, one car interior with normal maps, and a menu with UI support for multiplayer matchmaking, single player, customization, 
screen and a main menu as well. The menu itself uses iTween, by the way, so you can either download that as well, which is going to be required for the menu to work perfectly, or just skip using the menu if you don't really need it, but still a very cool feature to include by them in such an asset pack because it does make it feel a little more complete. Moving on to number four, we have an asset pack called Renderbox Post Processing made by our good friend Synthi Studios. And if you didn't know, Synthi is the studio behind the famous asset pack series Polygon, which we have run a giveaway of a few times, I think a couple times. We're actually going to run one more pretty soon. And here comes a free addition to their collection. Although this is not an actual model pack, it is for post-processing. So these are all post-processing presets that are meant to work well with the Polygon series. And yet you can use them with any other game you're making. So no matter the style, you can still make it kind of work out. And it also includes light rigs and a sky dome with clouds and shader. So it's not just the post-processing presets. And I love how I say just as if it's like a couple ones, but this pack literally gives you 44 different post-processing profiles, which is just insane. This is a very cool pack, very content rich. The post processing looks amazing. The Sky Dome is perfect for making low poly and polygon games especially. So you should definitely give this one a shot, especially when it's free. Moving on to number five, our final and last but not least asset called Endless Turns by SGLIB Games or SGLIB, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't want to butcher any more names. I'm so sorry. But so here we have a full game project, which is all about well, literally endless turns, like the name suggests. So basically, you play the sphere which moves from one wall to another, each place across each other at the edges of a cube that this takes place on, so the cube is like a platform. And then another path is drawn, so you have to time your click or tap, since it's a mobile game, to move on to the new platform in time. It is pretty addicting in its own self, but obviously the purpose, the main reason of this asset is for inspiration and also for you to see as a developer how you can actually create something similar. And to make it better, the asset also includes clean C-sharp code and detailed documentation which you can check out for learning the code and how they make this infinite, you know, level spawning and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty good. And the developers have made it easy for you to reskin it as well. So if you want to use the same code, but just kind of reskin it, uh, which basically means adding new characters or changing out the sphere to be a, an actual 3D model, you can do so. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed these five free more assets in Unity. I'm going to keep on making these videos if we keep reaching the like goals. The like goals have been broken insanely well on the previous two videos or previous two episodes of this series. I think it's a series. I don't even remember if I have like a playlist for this, but it is technically speaking a series that we run on the channel now. So if you guys keep on enjoying these and you want to see more and you want me to make more, definitely leave a like down below. It really supports me and the videos a lot. And now I also want to know which one of these assets is your favorite one or if you have a couple or maybe just a completely different one that I haven't covered up yet and you might want me to check out or other people to check out. I also do usually like feature the assets you guys suggest in the comment section. So make sure to drop it down below and I'll credit you in that video as well. Also, like I said before, we are going to be running a giveaway on this channel pretty soon of the Synthi Studios asset, the Polygon War Pack. So if you want to keep up to tune with that, that's coming really soon, actually. So if you don't want to miss it out, which I strongly suggest you don't because it's just a free asset pack, you can definitely make sure to subscribe so that you stay up to tune and say, see all the videos that are being uploaded so you don't miss out the announcement. You can also join our Discord server, which is probably going to be the place where we host the giveaway. So the link for that is in the description and the subscribe button is right below the video and now with that being said guys one final thank you so much for watching the video hope you all enjoyed your time and i hope you do keep enjoying your time on these videos and once again i'll either catch you in the comments or in the discord server see you guys have a good night peace out